What's up guys, this is Mohit and in this video, I will be telling you guys how to turn your Lightroom preset into an Instagram filter. By the way, I wasn't supposed to make this video. I was actually supposed to make a video on photography, but the package hasn't arrived yet. And here we are. And I wanted to give you guys something this week as well, since many of you are watching me. But anyway, here we are and let's get straight into it. Also, one more thing, make sure you go into the description below and download the patch file and the base file so that you can start get started with the tutorial. To make an Instagram filter, you have to upload a photo that have been clicked from your phone since Instagram works on phone, right? Anyway, so once you are done importing the photo, just select one of your presets. After that, I will go to develop settings and copy the settings quickly make sure that these are only settings which are checked and then click on copy go to base layer and then paste it now hit ctrl shift e to export it export this as png and keep the other settings as it is once you are done exporting now you can go to spark ar studio click on new project and select the blank project once you are in your spark ar import both of the files after you are done importing go to focal distance right click on it and add a canvas furthermore click on canvas and add a rectangle and make sure to change the height and width to fill once you are done with that make a new material and name it as filter or anything i would name it filter since it's a filter right once you're done with that change the shader type to flat click on this uh, right arrow right next to the texture and the patch editor would appear in case it doesn't appear you can always go to workspace and show hide patch editor once we are here go to camera and click on texture extraction and now you will see our camera texture has been created import all of these three files to patch editor and now connect this baselet nod to LUT and the camera texture nod to camera texture and once you're done with that connect the fast color LUT to filter and bam the filter is applied once the filter is applied make sure to click on no compression this is a very important step because if you don't click it you would see weird artifacts on the photo and in the filter you can also test the filter on your phone by clicking on test on device and send to instagram so hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more awesome videos like this and yeah that's been it this is mohis for now and i'm signing out peace out guys